Graham sent me. I once heard a story about the CEO of a company that decided to give awards to some of his employees. He went to one of his managers and gave him a ribbon and told him that he appreciated him. He also gave him two other ribbons to continue doing the same thing to others. That same manager went to one of the technicians in his team and gave him a ribbon and told him that he appreciated him. He also gave him the last ribbon to continue doing the same thing. That same technician went home that evening and found his son doing homework at the kitchen table. He gave him a ribbon and told him that he appreciated him. His son told him that he hadn't felt like he could please his parents, but that this act of kindness had brightened his day. In the book, Steps to Christ, it says, Our Savior's joy was in the uplifting and redemption of fallen men. For this he counted not his life dear unto himself, but endured the cross, despising the shame. So angels are ever engaged in working for the happiness of others. This is their joy. That which selfish hearts would regard as humiliating service, ministering to others who are wretched and in every way inferior in character and rank, is the work of sinless angels. The spirit of Christ's self-sacrificing love is a spirit that pervades heaven and is the very essence of its voice. This is the spirit that Christ's followers will possess, the work that they will do. Let's start a wave of kindness today. Thank you for joining me at Here I Am Send Me, and have a blessed rest of your day. Thank you.